Hey, my name is Nicoletta. How are you? So, hey guys, this is going to be a different video. It's going to be a raw, open, and real video. There is a hair in my face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know I may get a question on where this sweater is from, friends. I thought it would be a good sweater to wear for this video. But I will have the link down below. It's actually from Urban. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to be twinsies and get the sweatshirt because I'm obsessed with it. But I digress. Let's move back into this video. Recently, I've been feeling kind of disconnected from my audience. And maybe it's because of all these crazy changes YouTube's been making. But I was also thinking about it and I realized that I haven't been doing as many open, real, raw videos anymore. And I missed it. I want you guys to think of me as a friend across the world, wherever you are. I want you to know who I am. I love doing my girly hack videos and all that good stuff. Don't get me wrong, those are fun to film, fun to edit. But that is not me and doesn't define me as a person at the core. Today, I wanted to do a video about bullying and my experience and how it affected me, how I got through it. I did a whole video on my bullying story last year and I talked a little bit more of the details of my bullying story and even in that video I didn't say everything. But I will have that video down below. This video is kind of a message out there to anyone getting bullied or anyone who's bullying someone else. I hope that by me making this video, it can impact someone and help someone and maybe make someone feel better. I actually took the time yesterday to write some things down, which normally I like to just kind of say whatever I say, but I don't want to miss anything. I want this to be a video that really is informative and I get my point across. And so I thought I would just write some points down so I don't forget anything. I want each other as a community to support each other and empower each other. I love when you guys share your stories and I think you are so brave when you do and I love seeing support from one another. And I'm going to start with what affected me for many years. When you see me on social media, whether it's Instagram or it's YouTube, what do you see? Do you see a girl who doesn't love herself? Do you see a girl who's insecure? And do you see an unhappy girl who questions whether it's all worth it? Because that was me for many years. It all began for me in high school. The lovely four years of high school. Let's rewind it back. Before that, in elementary school, in, I'm from Toronto, Canada, so we have elementary school from grade 1 to grade 8, which is usually to like 13, and then you go into high school. So between those times, I definitely was pretty sheltered. I lived in a smaller town. Now it's gotten quite big, but I lived in a smaller town and on the outside of Toronto, and I had a really good childhood. I pretty much was a child. I acted my age. I was never someone that acted older. Definitely acted my age. I loved sports. That pretty much was my life because I was at a sport like every single day. But I definitely was a shy, little, innocent, kind of awkward girl because I was so shy. And it all changed what it felt like overnight when I entered high school. Before going into high school, I was this happy-go-lucky kid that had such crazy fantasies and dreams about how life was going to be when I entered high school as do lots of us because of all these movies we watch we just think it's going to be the greatest four years of our life but it turned out to be the complete opposite for me pretty much when I entered high school right in the beginning of the first year I became known as a slut a whore a pig and any other name you can think of and it felt like it was just overnight this was the time I was introduced to bullying and the lovely world of cyberbullying. That is one of the curses of social media, I have to admit, because although social media is great because I, connect, I can connect with people all around the world and you can do so many great things with it, it definitely does not help bullying because not only do you have to get bullied now at school, but even when you're at home in your own place, you're surrounded with bullying still. People continue it on the internet. 
Bullying can contribute to students feeling socially isolated, depressed, worthless. And those were all things I definitely felt. Psychological effects of bullying can enter well into adulthood and it can increase a person's chance of experiencing things such as anxiety disorders. And let me tell you, that is not a lie. More than one in five children get bullied. And to be honest, I think it's a lot more than that because some people just never report it. And that was someone like me. Hi, I was the unpopular girl. Before going into high school, we always see this, the popular group. A lot of us always wanted to be in it. I feel like a lot of people strive to be in the popular group. And unfortunately, where I was from, the popular group was not so nice of people to me. And for some reason, we put so much emphasis on a group of people that when you leave high school, they're nothing. They're nobody to you anymore. They just become complete strangers, like you've never met them in your life. Being bullied did affect me, and that used to hurt me to admit because I thought that was giving power to those people, but it did affect me. It made me feel like I was never good enough, I felt like I was never pretty enough, I felt never skinny enough, and I just felt worthless and unhappy. And to be honest, it made me a very angry person and defensive person. It made me feel like I had to be on defense at all times in my life. And it made me not like people and things because I always would just think about the negatives in any situation I was in. And it makes me sad to think about because I am happy to say that I've definitely grown since then. Why it makes me sad is because thinking back to myself at 14, 15, 16 years old and just remembering how I felt makes me sad and I just want to give myself a hug and tell myself that it's gonna be okay, it's gonna change, you're not gonna feel like this forever. When you're a teenager especially, I know this goes for a lot of people because I remember being there and you think that the way you feel now is gonna last forever and it's the end of your world. But let me tell you, it is not. You're going to exit high school and you can become the person you've always wanted to become. You have a clean slate. You can determine who you are and what to be and those people that made up all those rumors about you, names, and all of that no longer applies because you are free. And that's how I felt leaving high school, was free. I am here to tell you that I survived bullying. It is okay to dislike someone. You're never gonna like everyone in the world and that is okay, but it's not okay to disrespect, degrade, and humiliate others. Those few seconds spent to say something nasty to someone else or even type something nasty to someone else can last a lifetime for a person to try and get over and move on from. So before you say or before you even type something, Make sure you think about it and think about the consequences it can do to that person. You don't know what that person is going through. Let me tell you, the people that made all those nasty rumors and called me all those names didn't know one thing about me. They didn't know anything about my life. They didn't know anything about my family. They didn't know any of my dislikes, my likes. They didn't know me. It took me a long time to understand why me. What did I do? And to those out there being bullied today or was bullied in the past, just remember that if someone says you're not good enough, you are more than good enough. What your bully says is not a reflection of you, but rather a sign of a bully's lack of character. Being a bully is a sign of weakness and insecurity. Pulling someone down will never help you reach the top. Don't be afraid to reach out to people and contact people. If you could take one thing from me, tell people about it because I was definitely someone who bottled it all up. I didn't have a lot of friends in high school, but when I did have friends in high school, unfortunately, would never stick up for me and tell people not to say those things. It always made me upset. I, I never understood why no one would stick up for me when they knew that everything was not true. And it just showed that those people are scared. And if you see someone that is struggling with bullying and being affected by it, you stick up for that person because I am telling you, they will thank you and remember that for a lifetime because I know I would have. Don't be afraid to stick up for what you believe in. Don't be afraid 
of what other people think of you. I used to think that telling people and admitting that it affected me and would make me weak and seem like I'm weak, but it's quite the opposite. By you sharing your story and telling people makes you a strong person. It's not a sign of weakness. Tell your parents, tell your counselor, tell your family, tell whoever you want. You deserve to tell someone and have someone to help you because it's not okay and you shouldn't have to deal with things on your own. But one thing I have to tell you, it will get better, as cheesy as that sounds. I have been out of high school now for many years and yes, I still have those insecure times where I feel like I'm never good enough and I can see a million and one flaws in myself. But I've realized that I am good enough and I am a good person and I deserve to be happy just like everyone in the world deserves to be. I want to thank you guys because honestly, YouTube has helped me grow so much as a person. I am just a normal girl that decided to buy a camera and press record six years ago and no one believed in me. No one understood what I was doing. Most people thought I would go nowhere and most people thought it was stupid. But now look, we have grown our YouTube family so big and we have inspired so many people. You guys are the ones that made supported me through the entire way. All your sweet comments, watching me, uh, following me on my other social medias like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff that has come through the years. Those are all amazing ways that you supported me and made me feel good enough. You made me feel like I was worth it. You made me feel like I'm special, which I always lacked in my life. And unfortunately, that is what happens with the effects of bullying. People may say things and they may say it to try and look cool or act cool or fit in, but they don't realize the impact it can have in someone's life and how damaging it can be. And bullying happens so much in elementary school and high school. And when you're so young and you're being bullied, you believe it. You start to believe it because you don't understand life fully. You're still growing, you're still learning, you're still going through life and experiencing things. You've barely been through any of your life yet. And just having all these things being thrown at you is disgusting and you shouldn't, no one should have to go through that. If you ever want to reach out to me or contact me, you can always message me in the comments. I read all your comments, but if you want to talk to me more privately, I would suggest just going over to my Instagram. You guys can always follow me, DM me. I try my best to answer a lot of you. It is getting harder, but just know I'm reading your stories and that you are supported and I am there for you and that you're not alone. Self-love is a journey. You will love yourself even if you're feeling down now. You will get through it and you deserve everything in life. Always go for your dreams. Don't listen to others that are bringing you down. And just remember to have your eye on the prize. I wasn't planning on actually making this video today, but I was just so inspired to make this because of all the horrible things happening today with bullying and so many people take their life every single day. And I want you to know that your life is worth it. I also watched 13 Reasons Why, which I know there's so much controversy around, but what's in that show, as hard as it was to watch, it is very relatable and that happens to people every single day. And I think it's important to have a discussion and to talk about it and to not hide it and to not be afraid to talk about these topics that, that should be talked about. Because I know if I talked about it growing up, it would have helped me a lot more. If you are someone that says nasty and horrible things to people and you are the bully and you know who you are, think before you speak. Why are you so angry to need to bring someone down? What are you going through? It's not okay. And it will never be okay. And I will never stand by bullying or bullies. And if you guys are curious, the irony is that I've actually had a few people through the years try and contact me and act all friendly and nice because of my YouTube channel, but were nasty and said horrible things in high school. And let me tell you, people don't forget how you made them feel. They will forever remember what you did to them and how you made them feel. If you guys want me to go more in depth about my bullying story, then just let me know leave any questions if you want to leave your story down below you definitely can and we can all support each other and help each other through it as much as we can i just wanted more this video to be kind of more 
inspiring for you guys and motivational and just how I got through it all and how I moved on and how I realized that I didn't want it to define me anymore and I deserve to be happy just like all of you watching this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was different. Thumbs it up. It would mean so much if you did thumbs it up and supported me. Share it around. Get this out there because bullying is never okay and it should never happen. If you want to become a part of this amazing YouTube family, just click the subscribe button so you become a part of it and you join the Nicolette's Fam Jam. I do upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays, and if you click the bell, it will make sure to notify you every single time I do upload. And like I said, all my socials will be linked in the description box, so if you ever want to talk to me outside of YouTube, feel free. Definitely shoot me a message, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!